Hi guys, Rene here and welcome to the workshop. Today I'm going to talk about this tire, which is the Schwalbe Pro One uh, TT. It's a brand new tire from Schwalbe, time trial specific, uh, which means it's a super fast tire, not just on paper, but also in real world tests and rolling resistance tests. So how does it perform and how does it stack up? Uh, against the competition. Now, what I've said about uh, the regular road going version of this tire still remains true for this one. It's easy to install, it's light, it's supple, you can feel that. This one is even more supple, uh, I guess even widely so, and it's super thin, super light as well. Probably the lightest or one of the lightest tubeless tires out there. Uh, but how does it perform? Well, for time trial tires, the gold staple is the Vittoria uh, Corsa Speed. And uh, I've been using this uh, from the first iteration to the second one. Many of these tires uh, in the last three years of my time trialing. And it was always the fastest tire on the market. And it is right now by a very slim margin. If you look at bicycleroningexistence.com, you can see that the Pro 1 actually stacks right in the middle uh, between the new version of the Corsa Speed and the old version. And these are separated just by tens of watts, really. So I think in this case, it might come, uh, come down to other factors. And for that, I have to point out the biggest weakness for me in terms of the course of speed and that uh, grip. Of course, it's not durability because none of these tires are going to last very long because they have no puncture protection, almost, and they're super thin. But the grip is a key thing when you want to go fast on a technical course. And this one is quite slippery compared to other race tires that I've tried. So the reason I really, I'm really looking forward to trying the Pro 1 TT, apart from the beautiful tan sidewall, which I really like, is the fact that if this proves to be more grippy and with better feedback and better handling than the course of speed, then I think it's well worth those, I think, couple of tenths, maybe three tenths of a watt uh, per wheel because you can easily make up the time and much more in the corners on the brakes uh, and in the descents uh, a slight drawback of this tire mm, just specs really but it's not made in a 23 now yes some of you might say that it's an out outdated uh, tire size but still many tantra wheels uh, and wheel sets, particularly on the front, are designed uh, for a tire width of around 23. Now, these tires again have been downsized uh, to the new standards, so a 25 will be a 25 even on the modern rim. So perhaps that uh, kind of uh, corrects the issue. However, I will only be fully able to see if I mount these up to different kinds of tires or sorry different kinds of rims so I have the aero coach rims couple of MVs and hopefully some others where I can try it out so we'll see about that unfortunately it's uh, or we're heading towards the middle of winter so I will not be able to bring you much useful feedback about these anytime soon but as soon as I can, I will, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. And also, if you want to know more about the time traveling tech that I'm going to use for the next season. Okay, it's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.